When I was a little girl, I could never decide whether to be an engineer or a ninja. I wanted to help people and I wanted to help the planet. But the planet was so big and I was just one little girl. I would need an entire army to help the planet. And as if that was ever going to happen. So I decided that I would help people. And I became a biomedical scientist. But my dream for wanting to help the planet was still burning. So I dragged myself back to university and became an environmental engineer. Six years at university. And the one thing that I can actually remember is that infinite growth on a finite planet just doesn't add up. We have to fix this. But where do we even start? Two years ago, at a TEDx conference, in this very room, I had an aha moment. It was never about helping people or the planet in isolation. Instead, I could help people help the planet. But how? How was I actually going to do this? I remember back to when I was that little girl who wanted to be a ninja. I knew that I would only need three things. A weapon, a headquarters, and an army. <laughs> One of the greatest ninja masters once said, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. So that's exactly where I started. But I wanted to be thoughtful and targeted in my approach, just like a ninja. The only tool that I knew that could do that was eco-footprinting. It measures how much the Earth can regenerate every year, while at the same time measures how much we are consuming. I started working with environmental management students, taught them all I knew about eco-footprinting, showed them how, as a species, we're consuming one and a half times more than what the Earth can regenerate every single year. Most importantly, I taught them how to understand their personal footprint. Because as a ninja, you must learn to walk the talk and minimise your footprint. Everything that we consume, the food that we eat, the car that we drive, the house that we live in, it all comes from one planet, one finite planet. There's a limit to what the Earth can regenerate. Everybody says that we consume too much, but how much is too much? Eco-footprinting converts consumption and regeneration into a single metric. It's called a global hectare. Now, this allows us to do two things. It allows us to compare the impact of different types of consumption, and it tells us if we are consuming more than our fair share. Once my ninjas could see their areas of greatest impact, they could precisely target where to decrease their impact. Two out of three students committed to decreasing their footprint. You don't want to know what happened to the third student. <laughs> 
measurable impact with a meaningful goal seemed to resonate. I'd cracked the code on how to help people help the planet. Now I needed a headquarters. The headquarters needed to reflect the vision of a sustainable planet and population. And we needed to be able to measure this. Luckily, we were a university and we were drowning in data. But we had no idea if we were consuming more than our fair share of the planet's resources. So, we developed the world's first campus eco-footprinting calculator. Hold your applause. <laughs> we calculated that as a campus, we're consuming 1.3 planets. That's 30% more than our fair share. So we made a plan. A plan to become a one-planet campus by 2030. Code name, One Planet Campus by 2030. <laughs> Unlike the students' footprint, our areas of greatest impact included energy and buildings. This allowed us to set targets for our buildings and our energy consumption. We knew how much of the Earth's resources that we could use to build a single classroom or an entire building how much energy the entire campus could consume, or a single square metre. Our one planet vision began to infiltrate. During a major refurbishment, an architect was just about to do what he always did. He was about to install whiteboards into all the teaching spaces. But using our new Ninja One Planet vision, we thought, how can we do this and use less of the Earth's resources? We calculated the impact. Opaque glass uses 6% less global hectares than a whiteboard, and it's 60% cheaper. We were decreasing our footprint and saving money. We were getting stealthier by the day. <laughs> now I just needed an army. The Ninja headquarters had 40,000 students. Imagine if we could turn every student into a sustainability ninja. Can you imagine ninja accountants, <laughs> ninja nurses, ninja -neers? <laughs> But how? How are we, are we actually going to do this? How are we going to embed sustainability into every single degree? Into medical degrees, law degrees, marketing degrees. Just like before, we needed to develop a system and collect data. So we turned to the campus senseis, the academics. They guided our attention to all the important themes that one would need to know to become a sustainability ninja. We now had a weapon. We had a weapon that we could use to weave the sustainability thread into every single degree. Knowing this, we could see the gaps in ninja learnings and we knew exactly where to target. Last year, we did this to four degrees. This year, we're doing double that. We've begun to see how we can share our ninja learnings with other ninja headquarters. We've calculated the footprint of 40 universities around the world. Now, I want you to imagine if every university was a ninja headquarters. Producing sustainability ninjas. So from going from being just one little girl with an impossible dream to help the planet 
to making a small but definite change in the world, I discovered something else. It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. We all have one thing in common. This planet is our home. Can we be smart enough to live on this planet, our home, without destroying it? Of course we can. But I'm not going to tell you to go out there and recycle more or eat less meat or have less showers. I want you to go and calculate your ecological footprint. The tool is out there. Learn to walk light like a ninja and minimise your footprint. Because you know what? We have the weapon of education. And we have a One Planet headquarters. And we have a growing army of sustainability ninjas. The fight to save this planet is worth it. Now go, be ninjas. Yeah. <laughs>